Ladies and gentlemen, Champions Way is proud to present today's webinar with Sensei Nick Doherty. Today, Sensei Nick will be covering the class he taught at the 2011 Martial Arts Super Show. Without any further ado, here is Sensei Nick. Thank you, Natis. Uh, real excited to go over this information. We're going to make it quick, informative, and hopefully after this, you'll be able to get your social media set up in 30 days. So before we get started, a quick introduction. One thing we wanted to make sure everybody understands is that social media, uh, when you're getting started with it, it takes a lot of time. And I've been going through this for over four years now, working on social media with Champions Way in my schools. And a, a, brief, a brief background, I'm the owner of two martial arts schools in New Jersey. Uh, I started with Champions Way about uh, almost 10 years ago now. At one point, I actually tried to cancel. And this 21-year-old uh, got on the phone and told me I was about to make the biggest mistake of my life. And that gentleman saved my life, and that gentleman was uh, the Vice President John Malik. From that point on, we started working together. Uh, about you know, six years ago, we actually, uh, he helped me get through a really rough time. Uh, when I started using the software, that's when everything started changing and helped my school get organized. And we went from 150 to over 630 students at the time. Uh, we were doing approximately $73,000 per month. That was, that was some of our, one of our best months. Uh, then we opened another location. I built my own building. And you know, it all started from when I was uh, you know, down at the bottom, being at, at a martial arts show, not sure if I was even going to be able to pay my, 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 uh, my bills when I actually was, uh, wrote the checkout. And uh, that was the turning point when I tried to cancel Champions Way. And I was, um, like I said, introduced to John Malik, and he helped me get through it. So one thing I did also was I read a book uh, that helped me understand where I was at my stage and, and uh, what I needed to do to improve. And, as a, as a martial arts school owner, one thing that's very seldom taught is uh, leadership. And I read a book that was how to, how to deal with people you can't stand. And I realized at that point uh, is when I needed to make some changes. And in talking to several school owners nowadays, uh, there's a lot of schools out there that are doing very successful. Um, however, there's also a lot of schools out there that are really, uh, you know, the school owners need to take some leadership courses. So th th that's a book I highly recommend to anybody. Um, now, if you look at this picture here, this is where me and John Mel came up with the idea for the Champions Way Library. Some of you might actually already be members, but uh, the point of this was, you know, me and John have been talking for years, and a lot of our best ideas have taken place at around 10, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock at night. Um, we were always working. We were always coming up with ideas and trying to come up with, you know, solutions that would help martial arts schools. And this was a picture of me and John in the garage over three years ago in my garage when he actually visited New Jersey. And this is where we came up with the idea of the Champions Way Library. So the point is, um, you know, we have a movement going on right now online on social networking. Uh, you'll see hashtag hustle hard. And that is for people and entrepreneurs and business, martial arts businesses, uh, people that you know, are interested in um, you know, working and just taking their business to the next level. And we just follow each other. We encourage each other. And we use the hashtag hustle hard about you know, always just keep going, you know, not to be, ever being satisfied. And a lot of people are confused on, you know, it means that we don't have a life or all we care about is making money, and that's not the case. It's all about the family. So we have another hashtag, hustle hard for the fam, and that's why we do it. So if you're interested, make sure you follow us on Facebook and uh, start, you know, just using that hashtag, hustle hard. Uh, so that was my story to, to make you understand, you know, where I, uh, what I had to do uh, to get to this point. And um, now we're going to go over... Uh, the five basic things that I want you to understand you'll be getting from this seminar today. So actually, let me go back here. I missed it there. All right. um, oh, actually, I'm sorry. Before we go into that, we have a special gift for everybody. And this gift is a free lounge. Okay? Uh, the purpose of this class is to teach you, you know, get, how to get set up with social media. And um, unfortunately, uh, I would say uh, probably most, more than likely uh, over half of the martial arts schools, about 40 to 50% of the schools are failing because they're failing to understand that social media is a science. It's not a quick way to get students. And um, it's a shame because um, some of those schools in the next, they might not be affected now, but in the next, in the next two years, it will be a, it'll be a really a, a bad situation for them because their competitors that are growing socially, uh, you know, are going to be in a much better position. They're going to have much more leverage. And uh, from people, when people say they want nothing to do with it or they have no time to do that, uh, it shows their ignorance in, in the sales and marketing future. Uh, they really just don't get it, and that, uh, there's nothing else I could do. I try coaching them and helping them. Uh, hopefully, you're not one of those school owners, but you, the future of your business depends 
on this. It does. The, the, if you understand how social media works, uh, then you will be safe. Your business will grow and it will thrive. If you do not, um, you'll be looking back at yourself and you know trying to catch up. And the simple fact is you'll never catch up. So if you scan this QR code, this is called a QR code, a quick response code, this will actually take you to a landing page for our free lounge. And our free lounge is an application that goes on your website or could be implemented into your Champions Way website that makes your website social. So make sure you download that, check it out, and uh, contact customer service if you have any questions. So the five takeaways from today's webinar, number one, the science of social media. Um, a lot of people that, you know, um, unfortunately think that social media is a quick fix or, or, you know, you should be getting ROI in a month, or three months, six months, or 12 months. Uh, they don't even understand what ROI is. So um, hopefully when you're done, done this seminar, you'll understand more of, you know, the tools you need. Okay, how to measure your ROI and what is the ROI of social media. And uh, you know, it'll open your mind to be more open-minded with understanding that the power of social media, how long it takes. Number two, a social site or a static site. Uh, you have one or the other, and that is really going to be a main factor in the next you know, six months finishing out 2011. Best practices for martial arts schools. This is uh, one, of the, one of the major places that most martial arts schools will fail by not doing these simple best practices, and that's why they see no increase in their reach. And that's why it will not end up working for them because they're just trying to sell, and that's not how it works. Uh, Facebook, the boardwalk of your, of your monopoly, and we're going to give you a free ebook for attending today's webinar, and that will give you a really good idea and concept of what you should be doing on Facebook and how Facebook really works versus the way that you think it works. And then finally, measuring your results. Okay, a lot of people are not set up for this, and they have no idea what set, what, whether social media is even working. So um, a lot of these things pretty much encompass the social media platform that Champions Way provides. We have an additional service. It's called social media optimization, and all these strategies are implemented into it. So if you're interested in more information about that, please send me an email to sensei.nakedchampionsway.com when you're done watching the webinar. Okay, so when we talked about social media being a science, uh, this is a, a simple formula of web conversion or lead conversion online, social platforms, okay, uh, even, even just your social site or slash website. And we said that this is not a quick way to get students. And for people that don't understand this, it's, uh, it's, it's their content and their actual vision that is causing their schools to fail. Uh, and so, so hopefully they, if you, you know, look at this formula and understand what it will take to convert, it will maybe open your mind to be more patient and being unrealistic with social media results and expectations. So C, obviously, is the conversion. That is the goal, is to convert. Now, if you look at this, it is 4M plus 3V. So 4M, M is motivation, and V is value proposition. So four forms of motivation plus three you know, clear and concise propositions on why someone should join your school. Okay, so four forms of motivation. It could be a blog. It could be a video. It could be your website slash social site. It could be your Facebook page. It could be your Twitter account uh, based on a video that they saw from somebody else, a statement made from somebody else. Okay, and um, so that's the, what 4M is. And then the value of the proposition, the clarity, being very clear and concise on why, and you know, uh, usually it's a landing page that we're talking about here, or a capture form, that's going to make it very clear and, and, and guide them exactly what to do and make it as easy as possible. So when people say that landing pages are, you know, they don't work, um, unfortunately it's you that's not working. Okay, that's the simple reality. Whether you're not using it in email campaigns, on social platforms, uh, you're not using them, you don't understand how to use it, and that is going to be uh, the, the most simple way to, to convert and to generate leads online. So whatever you add, uh, whatever you add up on those different things, uh, the motivation and the value proposition, plus two times I is the incentive to take action, all right, minus the friction elements. Okay? So the incentive to take action would be actually usually like a time frame okay, or a special deal, like a price, minus Okay, the friction elements of the process. So how many are there? Time is usually a friction element. Price is usually a friction element. Okay, uh, you know, uh, there's a lot of different excuses. Uh, having to talk to the husband, having to talk to the wife, okay? You know, a divorced parent, so there's a lot. Minus 2A equals anxiety. So, you know, uh, there's a lot of different anxieties of, you know, spending money, commitment, all these different things. So in order to convert, this is really the science. I'm not going to go over that, that much, but that's a sample 
okay, of you know, social media being a science. Now, the social media science is composed of four major uh, you know, platforms that we're going to talk about. And the first one is reach, second one is content, third one is sales, and then finishing up with measuring. So everything will start with the reach, okay, growing your reach. You cannot force to grow your reach, okay? It's not uh, our job to grow your reach. Reach will be grown by your classes, by your reputation, and who you are. So if your reach isn't growing, okay, you must take a look at a lot of those factors I just mentioned. Uh, reach is a, 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 some, a, something that you must be working on daily, not yearly or weekly or monthly. It's daily. You're always trying to increase your reach. So we go over all those strategies, and it's your job to implement them. We do not do it for you. Content, okay, that's the second factor. And content is your classes. This is the most powerful form of content that you have, and actually you as an individual. And sometimes we talk to martial arts school owners, and you know they're just they do bully prevention seminars, and all they're worried about is signing people up. Uh, that that is the wrong approach. You do bully prevention to help members of the community, and just to to meet and to network people. Like we said, sales is changing so much, and if you're high pressure, you know you're really going to just defeat that formula we talked about at the beginning. The third thing is sales. So once you increase your reach and you have a solid reach, and then you're providing valuable content. Then you're, you know, you'll start noticing, you'll start getting sales, okay? You'll start getting referrals. When you're not getting referrals, okay, uh, you're basically looking at your classes and yourself because you're not providing good enough classes. So you're, nothing will grow. You can't force this. That's the best part about it. There is no longer faking it, and there's no longer sales tactics that are make your school like a success. It's going to be uh, the gr grinding it out, producing content, building your reputation, cross-marketing, and following the science rather than going to a seminar on how to sign up 500 people in a month. Okay, that's just the, those consultants, the people that are teaching that, will not be around much longer because it will not it will no longer work. It defies the laws of social media and science. The final thing is measuring. There's, I'm going to go over a couple key factors you want to make sure you're measuring when it comes to your social media. So let's start with reach. Reach starts at the front desk. Your front desk person must be fully trained, retrained, and be educated on the daily operations. So when the school owner is not involved in this process, okay, as far as the daily operations or doing the social media, here's one of the reasons where it will fail. Because the school owner says they're too busy. I don't know what they're too busy doing. I can only imagine. Right? Again, you know, the, the future of your business, your business depends on your social media. Uh, this, is, this is the future. This is this reach will ultimately determine how you're able to generate leads in a quicker way using other applications that will be coming out. So front desk, cross-marketing, or using a technology partner like Perfect Mind, you're able to work with other businesses and use the lounge and the social site and giving it to them with their software and then helping them and educating them on the things we're educating you with. Email and text message marketing, that's an easy way to increase your reach. Uh, text message marketing is becoming more popular by the second. We just left the Martial Arts Super Show, and you will see your competitors doing this. If you're interested in getting more information on text message marketing and QR codes, please make sure to contact me as soon as possible. Having a social site, that is really important. Your social, a, a site that's social will increase your reach. Others will see people talking about it, and as, that is very important. And then your instructors will also grow your reach as well. So your instructors, your owners, they must also see the science, and they must be retrained and educated on the principles of social media. When you're defining the rules, okay, you're just not going to grow. You actually will lose people. So content. The most important thing you want to think about when it comes to content is nobody cares about your accolades. If you think people are going to come in and sign up because you're a champion, you're wrong. All right, if, you, if that's what you're promoting, you'll, you'll be lucky to get you know, five or ten students. People train the martial arts for them, not for others. Content rotation. When you're making your schedule and you're following a plan of action, Make sure you rotate your content and mix it up. Courses, kits, and videos. This is very important. You should be using this. This is also included in our social media optimization package. Text. Okay, let's talk about that. Are you really going to add text documents and long paragraphs and testimonials of text? Take a look at your website and understand that that is the, that is the past. That is not going to be as effective as it once was. Content. Understanding edge rank. Understanding social media optimization. Understanding that... When you're posting on Facebook, it doesn't just mean you post okay, and it goes out to everybody. There's a lot of factors involved with that. Unfortunately, most martial arts school owners will not understand that, and uh, you know, just, their Facebook will never grow. 
So make sure when you get the ebook, you go through everything I talk about on EdgeRank. Classes is the most important thing of your content. Uh, you know, having classes, having other people talk about the great results that they have is important. Sales, okay, your sales are the one is the most important factor in doing the selling. Your results, okay, using your reports in Perfect Mind, tracking your sales. Is your does your front desk talk when someone says internet? How did they hear about us? Oh, which form? Where online did you hear about us? Was it Facebook? Was it our social site? Okay, was it Twitter? Was it our blog? Where did you hear about us? I'll go a little more into the specifics about that. Using campaigns. If you're not using campaigns in Perfect Mind, please make sure to do so. I'm not sure if you've seen our social media dashboard, uh, but you know schools that are not generating uh, leads from landing pages and social media, and you don't have a dashboard tracking all that. Uh, I, I, I really would recommend setting up a call with me, and I can help you with that as well. Sales is now going to be based on leverage in your town. The more followers you have, the more you're going to cross promote. Eventually, we're working on. from your school, that is considered lead. Unfortunately, most people will not track it, and then they think they're not getting anything. Right? Remember, it's just like an opportunity. Someone doesn't just come up to you and tell you. All right? Sometimes you know, they, look, they like your page, they follow you. Well, it's your job to go the one step further and get them in. That is, that is the job of a marketer. Okay, so besides your current clients spending money on apparel and discounts and pro shop, that's another ROI of social media. It's all the, also the offspring of the word of mouth that your current clients produce. And getting that, that when you're getting someone from Facebook, from somebody that's on Facebook, and they're posting on Facebook, they're spreading your brand awareness to people in the community. It's your job to friend them and to start a conversation. Measuring, uh, if you're not measuring and you're not sure what's working, you're going to be in a, in a bad situation. So make sure that you're measuring right, everything you're doing on social media. Social dashboard, uh, this is really, and we're increasing this, we're implementing SMO with this, as, uh, SMSs with this as well. So that way your dashboard is tracking everything okay, that you're doing, all your social media, all your SMS, everything. Social, uh, I'm sorry, reach, measuring your reach on a daily basis and measuring your Facebook leads, okay, and also your Google Plus leads. Google Plus is becoming more popular. We're also providing you the tools to put on that page that will track your leads from that page so you have that 24-7 marketing. Here's a sample of our reach report that tracks your Facebook, YouTube, and we're actually adding your circles on there as well for Google Plus, and eventually we'll be adding that into our social social media platform for all of our schools. This is another sample of a report. Right now we're tracking it on an Excel sheet, but this is something you'd have your program director or front desk administrator do. That way you can see who your new fans are and new likes are, and then you, you give them a call to action quickly and try to convert them. So as we're moving on here, also in our SMO package, we include a library of web banner ads that are connected to blogs for specific things like bully prevention, free instructory kits. And when we talk about these topics, then at the bottom, you actually take this, you insert it into your, your program, and then you connect it to a perfect mind form. And then you know from there, when people want the information, you make the white, the white paper, you send it to them, and now you've captured their phone numbers. All right, and then you're able to follow with them and ask them what they thought about your kit. A kit could be a couple of videos you put together in your platform, your social platform. So these are the things of the future of what you should be doing and how you should be marketing. This is all included in the SMO library. We also provide the strategy on each position as far as what they should be doing each month as in, as in regards to increasing the social reach. We also explain to you what to do on each platform. So a monthly social media plan of execution for all your different landing page tactics, updates, tips, and so forth. It's all outlined for you. It is your job to do it. We provide you with the strategy and education. If you're not interested in, in upgrading to a program like that, you can always just be a member of our Champions Way Library, which gives you uh, basic content tips on what to produce and what to uh, put into your social media platforms. Uh, at least that's a good way to get started, but you will not have the measurement tools and also the tools that will help generate and track what you're doing on social media. So real talk, what we're saying about everything in regards to the science of social media are three basic, basic things. Number one, teach great classes. You might think you have great classes, but get them on video and find out if they're really great. Provide great customer service at your front counter by making sure everybody's on your platforms, you have their current email addresses, you're getting them to opt into uh, text messaging, and you're hooking them up. 
Again, another mistake is people think that they're supposed to get sales right away. All right? uh, one most important thing as a leader is you must take and be accountable for yourself and not point the fingers at other people. All right? It's your responsibility to grow in your, your school and get people on there, hook them up, and then it will spread naturally. So be patient. Don't just think that it's supposed to happen in a week. So takeaway number two, and if this is a social site or a static site, what do you have? So this is a picture of not a social site, a static site, uh, but this is a picture of just someone looking at a, a, a static, okay, on the television. And this is what it's like when they actually look at your website that's static. The only problem is they don't look at it for more than four seconds. So if I looked at something like this, I don't know I think I would click anything. This is a perfect example of a poorly designed static site. Um, and if you notice here, there's, there's too many drop-down boxes, all these different things, and you know, uh, just a whole, but just too much confusion on here, and again, no social interaction. So this is a sample of a very poorly designed social site uh, from somebody that um, you know, is, uh, I guess, making websites for people. Now, if you look here, this is a sample of our social site on Shape Is Way. I figured, what better to use than our site? And if you notice here, we have a lot of different things. We have our lounge, which you're going to get free from attending the webinar today. And then if you notice, we are able to log in with Facebook. That is very important. We're going to talk about that in our next upcoming webinar. You want to log right in with Facebook, clean sharing options and links to Facebook and Twitter sharing. And we have our three main products that we have, which is what you should have, not more than three. Anything more than that is confusion. All right, so adults, kids, and you can have another special if you're interested. But keep it simple and basic. No drop-down menus, too, if you notice we have no drop-down menus. Now, you're asking, what is the lounge? Okay, the lounge is connected to our site. Instead of having a separate blog, okay, it's also connected to that. So we can write a post. Our students can make posts. They can post questions. They can post blogs with videos with HTML. And they can share it if they want to on other platforms. But the conversations on our site, rather than take them to somewhere else. And obviously, if, the site, if everything's on our site, there's a better chance of them converting once you start offering courses and kits and providing content. Here's a sample of something that one of our instructors, he posted on our Facebook page, and he talked about what he was doing and uh, the strategies he was following based on social media, one of our clients. I mean, and you look, their numbers are right there. He's talking about himself, and you can contact him yourself if you want more information. And you see that hustle hard and hustle for the fan. And even ask questions on there about what he was doing. Other people ask them. They just... Um, that's the way you want to do it. You want to make sure that you get your clients to post on your website, which is way more valuable than you posting and talking about yourself. So everything revolves around your site, and gimmicks will come and go. So you, know, you want to have people on your site. You don't want to have people on other sites. You want to make sure that you have people on your site and make your site the, the lead generation machine. So the next thing we're going to talk about as we move on to the monopoly here, we're going around the board is we're going to go and take away number three, which is social media best practices for martial arts schools. Now, more than likely, you're not doing most of these, so let's make sure that you are. And the first thing we're talking about is info calls. So when you're taking info calls, most people have not been trained to ask if they've, they've visited your Facebook page or they've visited your lounge, and make sure that you ask them to post on there, okay, and to actually like your page and to check out your lounge and to leave a question about your programs. All right, you have to drive people to these platforms, all right? and also you, know, you want to make sure that you tell your staff to make sure they're doing this on a daily basis, telling them what, uh, tell them to say, you know, make sure, oh, you checked out this, we checked out that, if you actually have some type of interaction going on there. In the beginning, it's your job to get your students to go on there and to get the interaction going first. Don't drive them there. It might take a little bit of time, but first get your students on there talking about you. When you have to get videos, post them on there. When someone talks about how great your classes are, get it, get it on video. It's a lot more valuable than just taking little text that says, so-and-so is the best, and then says, Jimmy C. All right? And it's just a text document, and no one reads that or even believes it anymore. The enrollment process, this is a really important best practice where you must implement your social you know, uh, best, best practices. So talking to the parents and the adults, having a live blog that's educational, that's driving them to kits and a benefit to them, is how it will spread for others. Okay. The, the, the blog that's talking about your six-week special or whatever your personal training special is, or you know, uh, that's just not going to work anymore. Having an iPad in your school would be really beneficial, too, to, to pass out to the parents. Um, on your, when you're doing an agreement with somebody, you're asking them right then and there, are you on our Facebook page? 
Okay, and even if you want to, give them a five to ten dollar credit just for liking your page. At the enrollment process, process making sure you have the right email and SMS for both parents. All right, that's what you want to try to do, not just one, or you know, uh, even your students. Make sure you get the, both of them. On the mat, your best content is your classes. Okay, contest is your job as the instructor to have contests where you get people uploading pictures, asking your students to upload what they think about. We would like a video of what do you think about our school, send it on our Facebook page, and we're going to give away some prizes. You have to be creative, and all this is in our SMO library. Demo teams, getting them to participate as well. All right, then you also have achievements. You know, when you have achievements from students that are uh, you know, uh, great students at school, academic achievers, uh, you know, leadership awards, special clubs in school, get them on video. That stuff is very valuable. Remember we talked about, you're the social media company now. You are the social media company. And we provide you with the tools to do everything. We tell you what to do. We give you the tools. It's your job to do it, and it works. Retention, this is another reason why people will fail is because they're not, when they're doing their 246 calls, when they're doing their absent calls, when they're doing their non-active calls, they're not you know, going on Facebook, they're not going on the lounge, and they're not you know, giving praise to their students, and they're not asking them if they're on that Facebook page. Uh, you want to you know, constantly get the videos so, that, so they see it. It builds up the excitement. They see the results. Okay, it's your job to get all that stuff on video. It's, a, it's an everyday job. So the last uh, best practice is cross promotions. And cross promotions will not work unless you actually have a solid brand. I'm talking about a big brand. At least you know 1,000 likes on your Facebook page. That will give you leverage, and you will not have leverage unless you're educated and you understand it. Because if you try to walk in and be the expert or the social media influence in your town, you will walk in other people that think they know more than you, and that's where you use us, because we will more, more than likely know more than them, and you want to keep yourself educated, so that way when you want to start cross-promoting and you work on some of the bigger things that are coming up down the pipeline, you will make sure that you know, you're that person and everybody's coming to you as the go-to person in your area. This is the new way to cross promote is through social media, all right? And you know a lot of us are already doing it. We're working with several businesses, and the laws of attraction will come into play. If you have a poor attitude, if you're very negative, if you make excuses all the time, those are the people that you'll be working with. If you are a hustler, you believe in it, you're always giving the best effort. You're not you know, talking bad about others. Then that's who you'll attract. Okay? Unfortunately, there's great martial arts schools and there's poor ones. Okay, you will dominate your town if you follow our lead on this project. Moving on down the line here, okay, the next thing we're talking about is Facebook. I'm going to give you 10 quick tips and then I'm going to give you my ebook. So the first thing is making sure that your Facebook page is set up correctly. And we come into some uh, you know, um, so-called marketers or experts that are helping out martial arts schools and you know, they have a group of 500 people and the person says, trust me, have a group. Okay, well trust me, don't have a group. Okay, because the group will never be seen by the search engines. It will never be found, and that is the whole point. If you want to make a group on your spare time, if you have that type of spare time, God bless you, because I don't know how you could do it. All right? If you have that Facebook page set up properly, that's all you will need. Okay? And that will be indexed by the search engines. You know, other people will see it in their posts, and I highly recommend using that. So make sure it's set up correctly, and you're not set up as a personal profile. Remember, it's not how many likes, it's how many monthly active users you have. All right, because just because you have likes and your monthly active users are down, that means you're not doing your job. It's your job to keep the monthly active users coming back and it's spreading. So look at that. 90% of your likes will never come back again. Tabs, less is better. Okay, you don't want to have tons of tabs on your page. Hook up your students. There's not enough of that going on. People are too concentrated on trying to get leads, and the way you get it is by taking care of your own. It's really, really simple philosophy and science. When you take care of other people, they take care of you. Landing pages, if you do not know how to use them, you must become an expert on them, okay? And you, uh, you really want to make sure that you're using them as soon as possible, uh, whether you're building email lists, text message lists, okay, bully prevention, call to action, seminars. If you, all you're worried about is the ones that sell programs and you're not using them uh, efficiently, you're not going to use other ones that will eventually help spread your brand and get your people into your doors for you know, doing community service, doing things in the community that are going to benefit other people. That is how you spread. Rotate the content and giveaways. Okay, make sure it's really important when you're doing that. Rotate your content okay, on a, on a you know, weekly basis. A picture, then a video, and make sure you ask questions. Don't, just have a, don't make statements, ask questions. And then when you're teaching, 
you should be telling your students, like, listen, guys, I want you more involved. Get on Facebook. You have to do that. Okay, like equals influence and leverage. So make sure you understand that. Every day, reward people, okay, with something for liking your page. And we've already provided this. For, you know, we're, we're giving away credits towards programs. So when you see someone liking your page and you don't follow up on them, you're not doing your job, and that's just really not good. So when someone likes your page, you've got to hit them immediately on Facebook, and we, we show you how to do that. And the 80-20 rule, 8 out of your 10 posts should be for them, not for you. Make sure you lounge it, and make sure you educate with content. So your, your content, your classes, and you're educating them, and that is how you will get students, not by selling them. Educate them on the benefits of focus. Have focus courses. You know, great concentration workshops online. And I'll be doing a whole thing on this. Okay, right before back to school, like the second week of August, I believe the 15th, somewhere around there, a whole thing on the courses and kits. Here's some samples of our Facebook like pages that we include in our SMO package. So this is what it looks like before they like your page. And then here's what it looks like after. It's like an email subscription list. We change this up every quarter for you. We're now adding other templates that you'll be able to change at your, um, you know, whenever you would like. It's always expanding our social media optimization package. Here's another one for a traditional martial arts school. Here's a couple sample landing pages, one for mixed martial arts. All right, and a lot of people talk about these landing pages. Like, you want to make sure they're simple and basic. Okay, simple is better. Less information for them to fill out is better as well. And you want to have the sharing options as well. And they're gonna, you're, you're gonna have, we're gonna start adding a lot more for referring friends and things like that. And these are the tools that you can also give to your students as well. So. That's the basics of Facebook. Now, finally, I want you to make sure that you text Sensei Nick to 64842. It's Sensei Nick to 64842, all one word. And that will give you my free ebook on uh, Facebook marketing, all about the algorithm and edge rank of Facebook, um, what you should be doing offline to online. And I think you'll really enjoy that ebook and make sure that you text Sensei Nick to 64842. And you will also be on my list for all my upcoming webinars and things I have going out on a weekly basis. So finishing up, okay, measuring your results, I wanted to show you two basic reports, and there's more coming, and we're add, always adding more. The first one is your SMO results. You know, you're going to have a report for SMO that tracks all of your landing pages. And if you notice, some of these in here we've had great success with. We've had 22 people fill out our Facebook, and that is since 2011. And we've had several others. I think we're up to about 85 leads already for 2011. So. When you talk about ROI, I'm doing this in my school and I'm working on my school. If you're working in your school and you're not getting results, then you're failing. Okay, So you must make sure that you talk to me and I will make sure that I help you to show you where you're failing. This is a science. I know it works. It works for Champions Way. It works for my school. It works for several other schools. And when you're failing, please do not point the finger. Make sure you take a look at yourself and what you're doing and I will make sure I get you back on track to help you understand where you need to put your emphasis. Here's also a sample of the leads that come in from these summer kids special landing pages. We expect our back to school to be even bigger. All right, and those are some sample reports and the reach reports I already showed you earlier. So just to reiterate and review. So what you now know, first is the science of social media. Reach, content, sales, measuring. That is what you should be doing with your social media. A social site or a static site, you want to make sure that you're moving over and you're getting your lounge and you have a social site because everything will revolve around that site. My site is in the process of being totally redesigned, and I look forward to really sharing that with everybody in the next two weeks. Best practices for martial arts schools, remember, this is one of the number one reasons why people will fail at social media. They're not doing the small things that make the biggest difference. I cannot do that for you. Number four, Facebook. Okay, uh, That is the boardwalk of your social media monopoly is the easiest way to get people to follow your brand and establish quick brand awareness. And then finally, measuring your results. Okay, the reach reports, we have a lot more analytics that will be coming out uh, in the, pretty much uh, the beginning of September, and also your landing pages. So on behalf of Champions Way, guys, I'd like to thank you. And if you need anything else, please make sure to just email me at sensei.nick at championsway.com. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at sensei underscore nick. And please visit me on facebook.com slash sensei nick d. Thank you so much, guys, and have a great day.